Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can implement multi language features in your react js website and we will do this by using google api uh, I'm going to teach you very easy method and uh, then you can create a website in simple english and maybe for example if you are creating your websites for arabic customers as well or for spanish customers as well just for instance so your user will see just a drop down in your website and he will see the available languages this is up to you which languages you want to allow to your user and once he will select a specific language uh his complete landing page will be translated to in that specific language so friends video is going to be more important and i'm going to teach you a very simple method so without any delay let's start first of all you can see that i have created a react js project i will do my coding in app.jsx maybe you can create a separate component for this it's up to you first of all i will import use effect from react then inside my app component i will call this hook and pass my callback function inside this and the second parameter would be an mpt dependency so this function only calls once so this is important to pass this mpt and the second parameter would be an mpt dependency so this function only calls once so this is important to pass this mpt dependency here now the next step is we need to create a script element i will use document dot create element and script and now to this element we have to provide a source is equal to and here we re require a google translate api source link let me tell you how you can get this first of all i will open the google and here i will search google translate api link or i can type cdn you can open this first website now the next step is we need to create a script element like const script and then i will type here document dot create element script after this i will add a source to this we require google translation api cdn link so what i will do i will open the google and search here google translation api link cdn like you can type cdn and you can also open this w3schools.com here they are providing us this link okay okay let me simply copy this and i will paste this link here and before this i will type https and colon okay so after pasting this link we simply need to insert this script tag with this following source to our uh, body so what i will do i will type here document dot body dot append child and inside this we will append our script tag script tag okay so next step is i will type here window dot or maybe you can also copy this from here and paste here okay and you can also wrap this inside this following function so first of all you will type window dot google translate google translate element in it and then you can call this function like this and inside this you can call this new google dot translate dot translate element and here we need this id so first of all i will copy this id from here and then i will create maybe a div and i will give an id site okay and this will be our default language you can also add more languages website okay and this will be our default language you can also add more languages uh, inside this so let me tell you how you will do this first of all let me enter here you can pass second parameter here uh, included languages so i have only included one two three four and five languages you can include more you can maybe include one or two and if you want to include all of the languages maybe you can exclude some languages uh, if you want so this is up to you uh, make sure to use the same id you should give here and the same id should be given to your div okay now first of all i will run my application so i will type here npm run dev i will open my website okay friends uh, you can see that my website is running and now it is displaying me these select tags two times i will also tell you how to solve this first of all let me click on german 
सो फ्रेंड्स वे हैव मिस्ड वन थिंग बिफोर डूइंग दिस यू विल सिंपली एड वन मोर की एंड वैल्यू हेयर आफ्टर इंक्लूडेड लैंग्वेजेस यू विल टाइप ले आउट एंड कॉलन ले आउट वुड बी विंडो डॉट गूगल डॉट ट्रांसलेट एंड ट्रांसलेट एलिमेंट डॉट इन लाइन ले आउट डॉट सिंपल ओके नाउ अगेन लेट मी रिफ्रेश माई पे एप्लीकेशन ओके फ्रेंड्स नाउ यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव दिस सेलेक्ट बुक्स विच इज डिस्प्लेइंग मी दिस फॉलोइंग लैंग्वेजेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द डिफॉल्ट लैंग्वेज इज इंग्लिश बट इफ आई सेलेक्ट फ्रेंच यू कैन सी दैट माई टेक्सट इज ट्रांसलेटेड टू फ्रेंच सो मे बी यू हैव अ कम्प्लीट लैंडिंग लैंडिंग पेज द होल लैंडिंग पेज लैंग्वेज विल बी ट्रांसलेटेड टू फ्रेंच एंड इफ आई सेलेक्ट स्पेनिश सो यू कैन सी दैट इट इज कन्वर्टेड टू स्पेनिश द रीजन वाई इट इज डिस्प्लेइंग टू टाइम्स uh this is because in development mode you can temporarily uh, remove this strict mode because strict mode basically a uh, calling our this use effect hook two times so that's why the two uh, selects were created now you can see that french uh, spanish okay so friends this was the video that how you can uh, integrate a google translate into your react website i hope that this video will be helpful for you If you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and finally thanks for watching